Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News on iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, more beer for us. By now, I hope you cash that ticket on yesterday's big victory by Atlanta over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right? Our pregame video is here online. Uh, in that video, I tried to tell people that Tampa Bay simply is not that good. Right? Atlanta at home is a juggernaut. Well, let's roll back the clock to last week. Keep in mind, as good as Atlanta looked yesterday, they lost the week before. Right? In fact, they got pretty much dominated the week before. They lost 24-10 on the road to the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, what I want people to do is to think about the teams in the league that have dominant home field advantages, right? Teams like Seattle and New Orleans will leap into the imagination. But many people don't realize that last year the Cincinnati Bengals were a perfect 8-0 at home during the regular season, right? I know they lost to San Diego in the postseason, but during the regular season they were 8-0 at home. And that's coming from a division where you would have to play tough teams like the Ravens and the Steelers during the regular season. Now let me just say, Cincinnati is a team to watch, right? This year, they've already beaten Baltimore, right, on the road. And they've beaten the Atlanta Falcons. This week, if you're someone who bets money lines, I think the clear play is to take the Cincinnati Bengals at minus 300 over the Tennessee Titans. I don't like six and a half point lines because when you're up in that range, sometimes a better team as a show of sportsmanship, even if they're dominating, they'll take their foot off the gas right but here's what you need to know last week Cincinnati ran the ball for a hundred and seventy yards right they can run the ball when they want to last week the Tennessee Titans gave up 200 rushing yards to the Dallas Cowboys in my opinion right now Tennessee has a problem stopping the run right factor in also the fact that if you look closely at Tennessee's record I know they're one and one but you're gonna see that they have not been a statistical juggernaut right they've had their share of problems so I would say that upon closer inspection of that record you would see that they beat a Kansas City Chief team that's having problems this year week one right and in that game you're gonna uh, notice that's the opening week right they won 26 10 right and in that game you're gonna notice that they benefited from three Kansas City Chief turnovers right when you see a game like that where one team self emulates and they're turning over the ball and stuff like that. Um, you really have to wonder what the score would have been had the ball not been turned over as much. Right? Well, let me just say this. Last week, the Tennessee Titans only had 13 first downs. Right? 13 first downs against a Dallas defense widely regarded as being that team's Achilles heel right so I believe the Tennessee Titans are a bit overrated 
I believe the Cincinnati Bengals, a team that made the playoffs last year, are a bit underrated. I believe their home field advantage, which is every bit as dominant, if not more so, than the Seattle Seahawks' home field advantage, right? Let's remember, Arizona beat Seattle in Seattle last year. Let's remember, Cincinnati had a better record at home last year than the Seattle Seahawks. I think you need to keep a close eye on Cincinnati Bengal home games. I believe the Bengals win this game and get you the minus 300 rate of return. Let me hear from you. We're discussing week three of the 2014 NFL season. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. And if there's a game and an angle that you feel can be exploited, leave it in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.